September 20th. September 20th is the numbers and counts of this specific day, of the 365.4 day year of the Earth travels around the Sun and its orbit. Hello, my name is Tara Welling, and um, enjoy my videos. There's going to be a lot of them. At least, hopefully, there's going to be a lot of them. There is, it has been, this, this sequence of videos is about Erdology, my created Erdology. A-E-R-D-O-L-O-G-Y, which, which is German and Latin for uh, Earth, the study of or vice versa, the study of the earth. There has been, in the Elder Futhark, the, the language of the Elder Futhark is ancient. And by ancient, I'm not talking about only a couple thousand years old. I'm, ta I'm talking about thousands and thousands and thousands of years old. It was well into an existence by, hundreds, by centuries, if not several millennia, before the invention of Hebrew at around 1300 BC. These, this is well before Arabic numbers were invented, which wouldn't be until way after 800 BC. Arabic numbers are one through nine, with the zero being added much later on. So in, in languages, you had characters, and, and, and you, had, you had characters that those characters were quite literally letters and numbers at the same time, which means that the 325 days that has been since the last October 31st, Halloween, uh, otherwise known as seven, S-A-M-H-A-I-N, translate the 325 translates to the to the characters of P and A E. It has been 273 days since the last midwinter, uh, mid, the midpoint, one of the midpoints of the year, the other one being midsummer, of course. And that would be approximately December 22nd. December 22nd is also uh, Yule, the, the, the Yule log, which is a reference to the city of IWNW and its destruction and conquest and destruction of 3800 BC by invaders from Mecca. Uh, more than 1500 years later, 1400 years later, they would, they would take on the name Hyksos, but that's neither here nor there. It has been 273 days since the last mid midwinter, and that translates to the characters of J and H. It has been 231 days from since February 2nd, which is the 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 366 days the the leap year. This is the, the this is the reason why leap year exists. Well, so my why the the calculation of leap year exists is this is February 2nd, which is the February 2nd is when. This become this goes from being a high holy day to be to be not being a high holy day of the five it becomes the six high holy days of the Elder Futhark calendar which consists of fifteen days month fifteen day months and five sixteen day months and then every four years there's a sixteenth day there's a there's a there's a sixth sixteen day month and that would be that would be based on this specific date February second. Two, there's been 231 days approximately from that date to, to that that data now, and that that 231 translates to the number to the letters of N and A L. There's been 183 days from Easter, March, approximately March uh, March 22nd, and the letters uh, 120 one. 183 translates to W, the letters of W and A L. There's been 143 days from May 1st, which translates to the characters of K and O, not zero, O, big, huge difference. Because O didn't exist, zero didn't exist when this was, was created 
uh, well, actually, that didn't, that's not true. Zero did exist. It just existed in a, in a different format. It was a sphere, a ball, not a, a zero of, of a single number line plus, plus or minus the, the zero. It's more complicated than that. But it has been 90, uh, but the it, it, K and O. It has been 92 days from midsummer, June 22nd, approximately. With the, with the 92 translates to A and M. It has been 50 days from August 2nd, which translates to the characters of TH and U. And it has been basically one day since the time period, uh, so the time period of of each of these eight fixed points is with, within a plus or minus a three, three and a half, two and a half, three days, three and a half day period of time. These points are absolutely fixed all the time, period, point blank, in the story. They're always fixed. Where the date occurs in the middle of these is not fixed. So the if it's over here, then the and then the the rest of the of the the word the the collections of letters for the next 365 days, 365.4 days changes. If it's here, it also changes. If it's here, it changes. So no matter where it's at, every single solitary year, there's going to be different words involved because you, you have large collections of word, of letters, you're going to have repeat repeat what, repeat letters in there. Repeat, repeating letters is called a word. Lots and lots of repeating words create the sentence. Sentences create paragraphs. Paragraphs create chapters. Erdology is a study of the structure of time in both it with with both its language component as well as its structural component because there's a map created that these words create a map and those words that create a map create a show the 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 language and the map the the the, the time map show structure so those structures are very important to are, are very important to study and to explore. Now, this science has some serious stuff involved with this science, but at the same time, this science is in its infancy because it, at this point in time, I'm the only one working on it. Although there's lots and lots of room people around the world, I'm the only one that, that has been working on the, this specific aspect of it. But the the Elder Food Arc is ancient. This science used to be an SOP for most of the, most of the other people on the planet. This is the closest the this the the ancient the ancient form of this language, the closest it was to being defined as, is as a modern name called Indo-European language. Well, this is the the Food Arc is the last decipherable understanding of Indo-European language. Thank you very much for watching.